Hello family, I'm coming to you this Saturday, wonderful, beautiful afternoon here in the ATL at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Zone. Just giving you a little video to coast you through your day. I will be doing a lot of that this weekend since we really can't go anywhere these days. Uh, I really am going to have to go out there to, um, what do you call it, um grocery shopping at probably one store and face all these people and the whole covering of being under the corona virus uh, hopefully we'll get in get out nobody cough on us or anything to that measure but i want to say hello family thank you for stopping by and getting into the comment section and letting me know how y'all feel about subject matter but we're going to be talking about none other than the married to medicine housewives honey yes over there at urban bill mag magazine they're putting out a story that aired on uh, March 11th, written by Amanda Anderson Niles. Yes, yeah, she's shaking and baking over there. And we can't forget about doing commentary on these women. I know I've been caught up so much with the Real Housewives of Atlanta, but they're the one that's out there trending at this time because they're still in their season. Mary the Medicine probably have been taping and doing other things, and they're coming back with their new season uh, fairly shortly, probably in April or May, I guess. But but we don't want to forget about them, so we're going to do commentary on them. But uh, Amanda Anderson Niles, or Amanda Anderson Niles, wrote out a nice piece for us to sink our thoughts into and make uh, speculations and, you know, predictions of what we think might happen in the show when it comes back. But she gives us an article title called Married to Medicine Star. Dr. Heavenly Kimes, or Kimes, doubles down on recent Mariah shade or uh, i don't know how to pronounce her last name is it hulk or hook or we just gonna say mariah h okay because she stands alone we don't think about mariah carey we think about mariah for married to medicine at least that's how my mind is geared but we go into the article it says mariah has always been open about her struggles behind the scenes as the creator of married to medicine now you see what i'm saying first we got nini over there with bravo both of them are bravo sitcoms but uh yes honey we are sitting there. <laughs> She's calling herself the creator of Married to Medicine. She probably had a hand into it, but she ain't got them kind of dollar signs to start anything on her own. Okay, I'm just speaking. I don't know. She might do. But, honey, when you're trying to own television networks and this thing, this and that, the third, honey, wouldn't Oprah and um, Bill Cost are trying to own their own network? And we see how that happens, and they know they got money. But it just is what it is, okay? But anyway, we go on back to the article itself oh, what happened i know i always be doing something okay uh she's claiming herself as the creator of marriage medicine just like we have nene leaks over there saying the baby housewives of atlanta is hers so hey both of my ogs i can get with it claim your fame okay even though anybody else might not see it that way now but if you see it you go for it you do you all day every day but getting back to the article it says even though she's an executive producer she feels she doesn't get the respect she deserves now Okay, I have to one up her on that one because Nini is not an executive producer, so she might got a little bit more clout. They can't get rid of her, even if they wanted to. She's still sitting at the table eating. Okay, all right, Mariah, I'll see you, girl. But anyway, uh, going back to the article, it says she feels she doesn't get the respect she deserves. But many of her cast members don't have any sympathy. Hmm, they wouldn't. When you're eating at the top of the table and you're looking down at them, you know, and Mariah's very mostly known for that. Oh, a let it. Uh, old and very uh, poignant adage she don't get off her chariots and throw uh, tomatoes in the street with the peasants okay I still remember that and I use that in my daily life every time I get a chance but anyway yeah she brought that adage that we use today she should put that on a t-shirt but anyway uh, she's getting no sympathies from her castmates this is especially true of Dr. Heavenly Climbs and that isn't a surprise since both women have clashed a lot over the years. Yes, they have. Recently, 
Mariah put up an inspirational message about women having to fight hard for a seat at the table. And that is true. We talk about that glass ceiling all the time in the corporate world and how it's either going to hit you uh, by you being a female trying to get in a male-dominated world or whatever career field you're in, especially in the medical field with physicians and specialists and, you know, the good old boys club and all that kind of stuff. Then you got to fight with women. You know what I'm saying? Well, we got it three strikes. We got to fight because we're women. We got to fight because we're women of color. And then we got to fight because women should be submissive and domicile or dorsal, I should say. So there's all three crazy things women have to fight with on the daily. So I get it. I got it good. Moving on. Um, it says... Um, Heavenly then decided to throw a jab. Even though fans of the show felt Heavenly was wrong to use the inspirational message to throw some shade, Heavenly has doubled down. She told a follower that Mariah did not give her a seat at the table. Ooh, child. If Mariah didn't help form that table, how did you get in? Somebody had to bring you in, Heavenly. And I do remember when you came on the show. Honey, and didn't nobody want to be bothered with you. And then you were kind of plump. And, you know... You were wanting people to accept you, but everybody else around you was in that society stink of how you should look. And, you know, you definitely need to be uh, Americanized. You definitely need to have that European look. And you need to be slim. Those are the three things that society put out there as the right look. Okay? Not that we should expire to be like them, but you have more trying to do that than the left society just trying to be themselves, okay? But anyway, Dr. Helen, they didn't like you, and when you got slim, you really start feeling yourself. Then you start calling people fat. You remember you called Buffy Parcell fat girl, and you ain't two minutes away from being a little plump and voluptuous and back to the fat seat couch yourself, honey, okay? But anyway, moving back to the article, that was my sidebar. Uh, it says, Dr. Helen Clines and Mariah, Feud on marital medicine will probably never end. It never will because that's their catch-22. Got to have that drama. Got to bring in that paycheck. But you pretty much off the show. Mm-hmm. That's what you do. Drama, drama, drama. If you ain't coming with no drama, say the shit for your mama and go and get you a professional job or go back into the profession you was prior to getting here. That's my saying. Professional jobs don't pay as well as the entertainment business. They don't want, people don't want the hard road to toe no more. They want to go up there Get to looking like Hollywood lifestyle. Get into that Hollywood lifestyle and break out the bank. Because they were like, mm, I ain't going to work hard. I am not going to do all this stuff and get lawsuits in here and there when it comes to my medical practice. Or, you know, whatever they're doing for the uh, grand scheme of the masses of the public. No, I just go on here and act a fool, say I'm so, and then I'll be straight. Because <laughs> I'm telling you. A lot of professional people that have bit off this apple in the entertainment field, they have dropped everything, went to the side, and they just say, I'm going full head on in with this entertainment field, and it's going to give me everything I want, fame, fortune, the lifestyle, uh, rubbing heads with the who's who. And that's okay. Forget my soul. Forget acting decent around people. Forget uh, expiring to do wonderful and great things. I, 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 I leave that at the step. I'm going in another whole way of doing it. I'm following the path that's very, very large. Okay, so that was just my side boy. I get those at times and I have to express them. Okay, but going back to the article, it said that their feud probably never will end. Heavenly can't get past Mariah Coos and Dr. Damon kinds of cheating. And Mar Mariah didn't appreciate Heavenly taking shots at her mother, Miss Lucy. Now, that's true. Now, when you come in somebody's home, their home environment, you break bread with them, they must like you a whole hell of a lot. Or you ain't getting past the doorstep. You probably just going to go out and be eat and featured, featuring each, self, each other at restaurants and other people's houses. But when you bring somebody in your humbly, heavenly abode that you done created on earth for yourself and your family members, you ain't going against the grain. You better told your role and you better, you know, act right in public as well as in private. When you really meet somebody's family members whether it's their husband their children their mother's father's aunts uncles all that you in a sense become a little family oriented within that family nucleus unit so mariah didn't appreciate uh heavily talking about her mama about she drunk all the time she started messing all this kind of stuff because heavenly had actually met her mother 
in Mariah's home. So, you know, when you're breaking bread, you solidifying yourself being around these people. You don't want folks to come off the top of their neck or talking outside of their neck about one of your family members. Then it's on like popcorn. Now, she don't really care if you talk about Aiden that much because Aiden can handle his own. You know what I'm saying? Then again, I'm a firm person when it comes to women arguments and men arguments. The one, the two should not mix. That women handle their own women's arguments. That men handle their own men's arguments. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, honey. She don't like that she talk about her mama. And uh, Heavenly don't like when they talk about Damien. Hell, she think Damien's husband. I'm like, honey, Heavenly, Damien's a gift from the Lord uh, for you, okay? And he might have witnessed you all's marriage. And he's trying to do the best he can with keeping y'all together, okay? But. You don't own Damien. And if Damien have looked at women and lusted in his own mind. And you didn't have no privy of that uh, image that was going through his mind. Hell, he already done cheated on you. He already done sinned, okay? So don't take Damien as the be out all guide to a good man. Because I'm sure he has his flaws. Just like everybody have their flaws. There's no one perfect. He died and saved us from our sins. Okay. Or for our sins. So we know who we talking about. Jesus Christ. Okay. But moving on. Because I know a lot of people don't get with their spirituality. And it's cool. Do you all day every day. Okay. But anyway. um, Yeah. They're going to continuously basically have that feud. Because they're hitting below the belt. They're hitting at the angles. When they're talking about their favorite people in their lives. So I can see that. I can definitely feel that. And going back to the article it says. And Mariah didn't appreciate Heavenly taking shots at her mother Miss Lucy. Okay. So Damien. Uh, Heavenly don't like uh, Mariah too much for talking about Damien. And saying that he cheated on her. He's cheating on her out in them streets. And didn't want to provide no receipts and this that and the third. And she don't like Heavenly for talking about her mama and her drinking habits. Allegedly and all these other stuff. Getting in her family business. Getting in her personal business business and put her on tv okay so it's unlikely going back to the article that the two women will ever be friends so when mariah penned an inspirational message about women having to fight for a seat at the table heavenly threw some shade some fans of the show felt like heavenly was being too petty but she's not backing down she uploaded the following video okay uh let me see. And then it says when a follower told Heavenly she wouldn't have a seat if it wasn't for Mariah. Heavenly clap back with a following. You have to own something to give a seat. I'm just saying. Heavenly need to hush her mouth. But let's see if we can get the audio because I can't play the video part. So let's see if it'll do it without buffering. Okay, and that was her response to Mariah saying she gave Heavenly a seat or she provided a platform for Heavenly to be on Married to Medicine. And I have to agree with Mariah. A lot of people don't like it, but they weren't knocking at your door, Heavenly. No, ma'am, no Lord, no God. They wasn't knocking at your door. They went to the way of Mariah's door, which people knew you and thought you would be a good fit. I'm sure you had to advertise yourself or interview or whatever and they kind of saw what you were giving but they also liked it that you were a professional woman and you had some stuff out there so it wouldn't be hard to match that you were among the who and who and you're going to be doing great in your own black community as of helping the masses in the world so we all could get with that and we could understand that and you made good for television you made all those points on your own with your own get up about yourself but when it came to knocking on this platform no Mariah did put you on and you have just been giving them drama to say yeah we want to keep her in the fold okay but that's all I had to say what y'all think family what say you on this issue of those two women fighting out there for a seat at the table the entertainment table and like I said it must be pairing very well because Mariah is married to a specialist a doctor you know what I'm saying and then you 
that I have Lynn, she's a professional woman in her own right and her own husband is a professional man out there in the medicine world so they don't really need this show so my point to you why even be on the show okay because it's only going to show your negativity it's only going to show drama feel and it's going to make people think about coming and patron your business that you definitely got on your own I have to say with the help of the Lord but some people say they do it all on their own and nobody give them a leg up okay but get in those comments tell me what y'all think and we're going to talk about more subjects not so always pertaining to the real housewives of Atlanta because they are coming to an end for the season shortly more so than later and we need to get into some other dialogues for some other sitcoms and just other people acting a fool out here on these streets that we have to sit them like did they really just do that? Did I really see them just say that? Damn, we got to talk about it. That's what my family do. That's when I invite you all in and y'all speak y'all mind on subject matter. So again, happy Saturday. Hope you all are feeling well. Hopefully y'all are doing well. Relax. That's what I always say on the weekend. If you got the time off from work where well, you got to go and make things happen and be in the livelihood that you'd like to be in or you strive to be in, honey, relax, relax, relate and release on them days you are off, okay? Because you can't get them back. You can't get them back. Okay. Love you all to the core. And I will see y'all next video.